Hello once again everyone, it is Jello here and today we are going to talk about power supplies or most commonly known as a PSU. So basically a PSU also gives power to all the components inside your PC. Choosing a power supply can be overwhelming for a beginner. So for those who are just starting out, here's a quick guide for you. The first thing to do is to determine how much wattage you need. To do that, you can go to PCPartPicker.com and put in the parts of your PC build. This will generally give you an idea on how much power your PC consumes. Simple, right? Well, not really. In choosing a power supply, you should also check if it's 80 plus certified. Power supplies are given the certification if it's at least 80% efficient in 20%, 50%, and 100% loads. For example, if your PC consumes 400 watts, it will pull 20% more power from the wall, and the extra power it pulls will be converted into heat. These 80 plus ratings are categorized from 80 plus white up until 80 plus platinum. So the higher the efficiency rating, the lesser power it will need to pull from the wall, which also means that there is less heat produced and more power savings. You might also want to consider if you want to get a non-modular or a modular power supply. The main difference are the cables. On a non-modular power supply, the cables cannot be removed. This means that you have to hide the unused cables somewhere inside your case. On a modular power supply, the cables can be removed, which makes cable management a lot easier if you're not using some of them. A 450 watt 80 plus bronze power supply is actually quite enough for most builds. You can check the video of Steve from Gamers Nexus about it. But of course, it is not recommended if you have an i9-9900K with a 2080 Ti. If you have the budget to buy high-end parts, it would also mean that you have enough money to buy a better power supply. However, not all power supplies are created equal. Just like other parts, power supplies also have different tiers. You may check the power supply tier list on the Linus Tech Tips forum for more information. So in summary, it's not just about the wattage. Always pick one that has an 80 plus rating. If you're on a really tight budget on an entry level build, you'll be fine with an 80 plus white power supply. But if budget permits, always go for the 80 plus bronze. If you also don't want to deal with the cables, you might also want to get a modular power supply for easier cable management. And that is it for today, and I hope this video will help you. Thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next video.